Hi ROS developers and welcome to this new ROS Q&A answering. In this video I'm going to uh, try to answer this, uh, this question posted by this user which basically has a... it's trying to what I can see um, trying to generate a, a signal of control, control signal through a desired value and and the encoder values as you can see here basically it calculates based on the desired and the encoder values so this user uh, needs some help in clarifying a bit how to do this so uh, yeah I'm going to try to clarify this okay so before we start if you want to learn anything about ROS related like AI or navigation drones and so on the concept is your channel so please check um, check it out and if you have any doubts on the topics that we're talking about especially in this basic um, basic concepts topics uh, I highly recommend you that you check out Robot Ignite Academy where there is a, a course on uh, ROS basics in five days and uh, uh, we talk there about all these concept basic concepts that we need to solve this question okay and without further ado let's get started so first things first i've opened uh, ROS development studio which is an online uh, ROS development platform and i've created a, a package and a project well a project first and a package after so if I open the IDE, let me, in the Kakin workspace, I've created this package, this one, and this is the Git. I'll post the Git in the video description, and also I'll post the project. So you'll just have to click, and you'll have this project uh, plug and play to test and do whatever you want. So basically what I've done is give a bit of order on this um, files because it wasn't clear what the user wanted to do at first. So as, as I've interpreted it, um, basically we want a subscriber that publishes these um, uh, this control values and it publishes in a topic based on the desired uh, value that is published in another topic and the encoder values mm, that normally would be um, from a simulation or the, um, the physical robot. In this case it's totally um, dummy uh, based but it would work exactly the same in ROS. So um, we start with creating a node and we start with this class which I've created which is my subscriber this my subscriber at first initializes these values uh, in, in a further like in a further improvement we could wait for the topics to be ready and then read the first values this is the best way of doing it this is just uh, a fast way of doing it then we um, start the subscribers for the des desired counts and for the encoder. Yeah, basically, is someone wants um, like a wheel move to a certain position, and the encoder gives us the the feedback, so the real position of the wheel, and based on that we give a control signal. So we initialize this control value publisher, which is a class. And we give it the K, the KP, KD, and and KI, well the DT basically. And yeah, that's it. So now we have to define these two callbacks, which will be called each time that we publish in these uh, topics, and we save the value of the encoder, and in the case of the desired we save the value but also we publish so we've consider uh, I've considered that the desired um, publisher so the desired value publisher is the boss is the one that counts and dictates the um, 
the frequency in which we publish the control value. It could be done in another way, like for example, the encoder or just another. We would create another function that would be independent from these two. I've done it like this because I've seen it, uh, it was like the most intuitive way of doing it. And basically that's it. So we publish the value based on the desired value and the encoder. So let's have a look to this new class that created, which is uh, uh, whoop, this one. So it's a it's a class that we give the KP and KD. The DT would it's not very necessary in this case, but I mean it was in the original code, and I've just I I just moved it so that's a bit more flexible, and we initialize a publisher which is control value and based on that each time that this is called we publish a value based on the formula of KPKD uh, that we all know uh, yeah and that's it so once that's done we just have to talk about these two scripts that I've made which is a desired count which is a publisher a dummy publisher that publishes each 10 hertz in the original code it was um, as far as I, I can interpret it said 10 hertz it's not 10 hertz here you have to put the hertz not the, the period so that was maybe an error and this one publishes each 10 times per second um, a sine wave and the original was a, like a value 6000 so on I don't know I think this one is a bit more realistic uh, is a more testing value it's sine and cosine which is the, the standard so this is the desired and then we have the encoder which again it's dummy because we don't have any simulation or anything that controls this so we just do a, uh, a cosine that's it yeah and that's it now we have to combine all this together for this I've generated a launch file which launches the desired value uh, publisher then the encoder publisher and then the subscriber yeah so let's have a look how this is done so if we go here we open web shell we access our workspace uh, the package is to main and that's it so now we launch it and we see that we publish we are publishing the control value uh, it doesn't print anything else just because in the other ones I've made it a uh, log level warning so all the log infos are not published and then what we can do is open another web shell And we launch the RQT plot. We open the graphical tools. Yep. There we go. And I had it already prepared. As you can see, we can see the control value data, the desire counts data, and the encoder data. If you don't find it, it's just here. So we can remove it and then we can for example um, the control value without auto completes we hit press uh, plus and then we have only the control value if we go here and we put also the desired value I mean these are all 
fake except the control value which is based on the desired one and the encoder one so encoder there you go but the good thing about ROS is that this would be exactly the same with a real robot or with a simulated robot you just have to plug in the um, so the systems that publish this mm, the encoder would be different yeah uh, yeah that's that's quite it I mean so as in conclusion basically what I've done is restructure and reinterpret the question I hope I interpreted it correctly if not please leave it in the comments below if you have any suggestions please also leave a comment and that's it thank you for watching and see you in the next video hasta la próxima